Welcome to Sunset Motors. My name is Frank Gerard. We're located in West Tennessee. Got a beautiful 2019 Airstream Class B motorhome. This is as good as it gets, top of the line. This is Interstate Slate Lounge Edition. Only 75 of these were built. So it's a very limited edition. It's in light new condition with only 6,800 miles. Loaded with a lot of goodies on it. We've got the towing package it's up, that's good up to 5,000 pounds of towing. Also, this one has the optional air suspension on the rear. It's got airbags. It makes it a lot more stable, safer, and it handles like a dream. It's really amazing. You can control it. It's got a little control. It's awesome. It's on a 3,500 chassis Mercedes. It's got the fuel efficient uh, three liter inline six diesel engine turbo charge up to 18 miles per gallon on the highway this one's got the xeon automatic headlights fog lights it's also got the headlight washer system this pops out and clean your head headlights it's got the front rear park assist sensors backup camera it's got the side camera it's got collision avoidance system uh, blind spot warning system, lane departure warning, it's got it all. It's got the nice solid aluminum Alcoa wheels. Guess we'll go inside and come back out. Got a nice awning, I believe it's 14 foot long with LED lights. It's all powered, self-supporting. Just come in, my wife, she's gonna help us out. What about the spring? I know. That's really nice, keep the bugs out and still have be outside how about these seats this reminds me of Bentley we had at one time it's got these nice quilted ultra leather seats very soft very comfortable just beautiful this motorhome has nine passenger seating capacity which is pretty amazing on something this compact as you can see the front seats swivel so you can entertain there's a table that can go I've got pictures you can put it in the front or the back. Uh, here we've got some controls. It's all LED lighting. Uh, let me see here. What are they calling this floor? I forgot. It's a woven vinyl floor. Yeah, woven vinyl floor. Easy to keep clean. It looks great. This is how you would control the air suspension. Also, it's got a nice automatic hydraulic leveling system. They're a very expensive option, but they're worth every penny. It's got a remote here, and also it's got an access control board on the passenger seat. But basically what that does is levels the coach. So when you pull up at a campground late at night, you can just push the button, it levels itself, and you're ready to go to sleep. It's really hard to sleep when it's on level, and these are hard to level with blocks and things like that. So. I really like that feature. You may want to point out this headliner. Everything is so plush, even the headliner. Oh, yeah, suede, yeah. And then the walls have the fabric walls, which are just gorgeous. I know it. It's very nice. And these shades are powered. It's got daytime shades and nighttime shades, and you just push a button, they go down. We'll show you that in a minute. Corian countertop. I don't think this unit has been used much. I know the sewage system hasn't been used. It don't look like no one's ever cooked in here. This thing is just like new. It's got a top loading uh, microwave. When it's, uh, when it's hooked up, this is a power door. It opens by itself. Got your refrigerator. With a little freezer on the top. Yeah, a little freezer. Uh, got your wet bath. It's all here. Got your commode, your sink, mirror. It's got a vent here. Nice enclosure. Got there's your soap also, dispenser. There's also a little clothesline that is behind this okay. curtain that hooks up to the top for you to hang stuff. How about the seating arrangement? You can put five people back here. And also you can put the table, again, in this spot. Craftsmanship and the material is just 
I mean, this is like being in a high-end airplane. Everything's really pretty. Lots of storage. It's time to show what this bed can do. Do you want me to lower it? Yeah, I'm gonna show them the buttons. Mm -hmm. These are the buttons, it's all powered. And I guess go ahead. You go down, push down, both of them. All three of them. How about that? And then this, these insert kind of fills the bed up. It's seven foot long and six and a half wide, I believe. Is that what I said? 65 inches or something like that. Correct. Plenty of very spacious and comfortable. And there's two little flaps that come down in the back that just finishes, you know, gives you another probably 10 inches on the back. But I measured, it's right at seven foot long. So even if you're tall, you'll work. And everything is so easy. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Gotta get the insert out. All right, go ahead. Fuses, that's the breakers. Here you've got your, I believe it's a 24 inch TV. Got USB ports, got outlets, cup holders. How about these day shades and night shade? Let's see here. You push this button. Let's see, they all go up. No, that was probably too fast, but. And then there's another set of a really dark one where they're, they're just full. Uh, and that's the nighttime. There's your air conditioning, 13.5 BTUs. Nice aluminum ceiling. Maintenance free. You got your fan up here. Got your control panel. It's all touch screen. Got all your gauge, got heated tanks, generator. There's all your shades, your lights, air conditioning, and setup. Also, this one is equipped with uh, three panels, three solar panels for 300 watts, and that's your charger. It's got a 1000 watt inverter, and here shows you what's happening when it's plugged up or the generator is running. There's your audio visual stuff back here, it's kind of dark. But I believe this is 28 inch right here. Got the key. Let me see here. These are very easy to drive. They handle like a luxury SUV. Smooth, quiet. You can park this thing anywhere. It's only got 6,800 miles. Got your cruise control, power windows, power mirrors, keyless entry. Uh, it's got navigation system, heated seats. There's where you lane departure, collision avoidance blind spot and you climb the control over here you're gonna see the backup camera and the side camera again these seats are very comfortable we probably forgot something but what I like is this little step here. This is the first one we've had that yeah. actually had a little step. And it's step. powered when you open the door, it just, it just opens up. 
and you've got some little platforms here to get in. Yeah, so it's really easy to get in and out of. You got handles, you got handles there, and you've got a handle here, you know, for people who need help getting in and out. Got your fire extinguisher back here. Got some outlets here. HDMI cable. It's propane. it's propane. It's got an auxiliary port for your outside grill. It's got an electric switch on off, and that's where you fill it up. This here is the sensor for the blind spot. Oh, this is number 62. Yeah, only made 75, so that's number 62. They're badge. Now you pull that curver off and the receiver is behind it. This is awesome right here. Got lots of storage. This is what comes down here. You pull this lever out and these arms come down and gives you an extra, almost a foot for the bed. There's your outside shower hose. It's on you. It's got a safe with a fingerprint. Pretty cool. There's your seat belts. There's auxiliary gas hose. Got the carpeted floor. These have little shades too. Yeah, and there's one more screen here that you can put down so you can leave the back open, the side open, and have a, a bug screen. It's all powered. Have a nice little breeze. Yep. You got lights in the back. There's your 30 amp hookup. It's got a 60,000 BTU tankless water heater. That's the exhaust port for it. Beautiful wheels. It's got a full size spare. There's the generator, it's a 2,500 watt. You can see this was a Tennessee vehicle, so there's no rust. There's hydraulic leveling jacks. Now, if you can see in the back, it's got airbags. And the suspension. I've had a bunch of these, and this is by far the best driving one I've had with the... There's a spare tire. Yeah, yeah, it's under there. Here we've got uh, all your controls for the sewage. Well, my camera's kind of acting up. I don't know what's going on. Right, here we go. So it's got the gray and the black water All right, here's how you operate the sewage system. It's all powered, even the valves, black water and gray water. They're electric. And it's got a macerating pump. And instead of using gravity to pump out, you just turn the pump on, open the, the valves, and it pushes it out. It's really nice. You don't have to worry about uh, messing with a hose. It's all built in right here. You just pull it out. Doesn't look like it's been used. Push the button in, which says retract. Uh-uh. Right, right, stop. And that's where you would push this in. And it goes this way. And you hook up your water hose right there. This is where you hook up your shower, outside shower. That's the exhaust for the furnace. 16,000 BTU furnace. This is if you want to fill up by gravity with the water. That's where you fuel. It holds 24 and a half gallons of diesel. Got the nice protective film on the hood, on the bumper. It helps with bug damage and and rocks. It's even on the headlights. Nice. They've done a good job. Three liter, six hundred diesel. Reliable engine. There's the hydraulic system for the leveling jack. 
you want to push this bar when I and this is if somehow you had issue with the rear air suspension you can override it and put air manually in the line which is nice or release the air push the dimensions are nine foot eight inches tall that's not too tall it'll fit in most shop it's 24 foot four and a half inches long uh, the water capacity is 27 gallons 26 gallons of fresh water 27 of gray 13 gallon of black water we got 14 and a half gallons propane tank uh, what else this will get in and out of any campground yeah it's like a living room on wheels you got comfort and you've got all the necessities that you need if this is your first motorhome I'll take as much time as needed to make sure you're comfortable with all the features. And I'm also there after the sale. And I make sure that all the motorhomes I sell are ready to go. I go through all the system and fix what needs to be fixed. But in this case here, it didn't need anything. It's just like new. To see if this Airstream is still for sale, you can go to my website, sunsetmotors.com. If it's on the website, it's for sale. If not, you're too late and it's sold. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're watching this from a long way, that's not a problem. You can fly into Memphis or Nashville. We'll pick you up, bring you to the store, and you can fly home a happy camper. I mean, drive home a happy camper. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching and come and see us.